Look at this one. I think he actually really likes the camera. Like, look at him. He's not even moving. He's <laughs> staring at himself. That's so funny. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's video. So, in this one, I am currently in the car with my best friend, Brendan, and we are going on a little trip to one of my favorite places in Massachusetts, the Winslow Farm Animal Sanctuary. So, usually, his dad would be going with us because he likes looking at the animals just as much as we do, but today, he wasn't feeling that good, so just me and him, and we are using the instruction of Google Maps to help us get there. So it was about a half hour drive, but we're literally about to be pulling into the parking lot in like two minutes from now at most. And I've been there two times this year so far, but I haven't vlogged on those days because I wasn't planning on it. But I knew that today I had to because there is so many new things since the last time that I saw you guys. Okay, now I have to find a place to park. But in there, like in that spot right there. Yeah. But as I was saying, um, the new things that they have are like a bunch of new chickens and a bunch of new chicken coops because apparently in like December or January they got a call, the animal sanctuary, from some people, some animal rights activists I think, and they heard that there were a bunch of animals a bunch of chickens who were being abused and they were in really unsafe conditions like these chickens were all cooped up in either some truck I think it was a truck or it was like one of those factories that they have them in but um, they were just like all cramped together and it was super cold and they didn't have anything to eat or anything to drink and there were dead ones among the living ones which is honestly such a terrible thing to hear like it broke my heart when I was re hearing about those stories because um, the chickens finally ended up finding a good home here at the sanctuary and there was this one chicken out of the bunch who was literally so friendly. He just came up to me and Brendan and he let us hold him and pet him and he would peck all the other chickens to get away when we we're like sitting next to him. So I think that he's really protective of us so yeah. Um, the chickens are a new addition to the animal sanctuary. I mean, they've had them before, but this is like a whole new group of them, and they have all the coops and everything. And I think that they're so cute, especially the one that I'm talking about. So I'm so excited to see him, and I think that the world needs to see how cute he is because, like, some people only see chickens as food and they don't see them as creatures with emotions. But that chicken was so loving, even after everything that he went through. Like, he could really just not be trusting of humans but he still had so much love in his heart and also due to the cold weather they have like frostbite yeah they have frostbite so they have like black little marks on their beaks Corn. and or their um cones yeah on their beaks and on their cones so that distinguishes them from the other chickens but yeah as I was saying I just really want to show them to you guys and the rest of the animals so we're gonna head in right now so I'll see you guys when we get in okay you guys we just got out of the car so we are making our way to the entrance of the animal sanctuary right now in my last couple of videos I showed the little trail that they have because as you could see the parking lot was down there but unless you take this trail you have to walk in the street so this is just a better way to go down and I'm so happy we got here early I mean the place opens every day at like 11 but we got here at 12 which is a little or a little earlier than we usually do because I told you guys it's like half an hour away but today is a beautiful day to go. It's so nice and sunny outside. We would have maybe gone like some other time this weekend, but Brendan went boating with his aunt's fiance's parents. And yesterday was my grandma's birthday, so I went out to dinner with her. So today, Sunday, it is the day that we decided to go. And I used to have a membership for this place that was like, $75 for a whole year so I could come here every single day if I wanted to and it would be free for that time but that expired so I'm gonna get I'm about to get a new one today 
so I can continue making a bunch of vlogs for you guys and hanging out with all the cute animals. As you guys know, if you saw the previous ones of me here, my favorite animal here was Mia, but now I think it's a chicken because I haven't seen her in a while. So we're about to go in and pay for the membership. It's been a minute since I last spoke to you guys, so we just entered the animal sanctuary and I told you guys I wanted to get a membership, so that's what I did. I paid $75 and then I got $25 in change. It just took a while because they didn't have the cards or the change on them, so I just had to wait up there and in the meantime, I decided to take some Polaroids because I did bring my Polaroid camera with me today. Well, actually, Brendan's the one who took them, so why don't I just show you guys? So, I took them with the dog, Freedom. She's been in my videos before, so here's one, if you can see. I'm just gonna, like, keep it out for a little bit because it needs a while to expose. We thought it was coming out on this side, and then we realized, no, it was on this side. And I should have known that by now because, like, I've taken pictures on my Polaroid before, but I use it very rarely because the film was so expensive, so I just don't want to, like, waste it on useless things. But I actually really like this picture. It's so cute, and it will be a memory of the first time that I vlogged here this year because I've been here before, but I didn't vlog, and... Ooh, Here's one. another one. This one is kind of underexposed because of how it was facing the other way. But you can still see me and the dog, so I'm still going to hold on to it. I'm still going to cherish it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we're just sitting down right now, and I was obviously continuing the vlog. And in the meantime, a little cat just jumped over to us because all the animals here are just so friendly. Like, I just love them all so much. And I was asking about Mia again because I literally ask about her every single time I come here from now on. But um, the owner, Deb, she said that Mia is a house cat now and I don't think we're allowed into the house. Like, I wouldn't go in there unless I asked. So I may not see her today, which is sad because, like, she was the main reason why I'd always come here. But now there's the little chicken that I was talking about. He has a name that everyone else calls him. Like, it starts with a B. I have to, like, refresh my memory and ask you exactly what it is. But I know it starts with a B, but... We always called him Coco because we didn't know he had a name because even though there's so many animals here with names, like there's so many chickens so I didn't know if they were just like all random chickens but we just call him Coco because he's so cute. He's like brown and white and he smells like cinnamon. When you pick him up and smell him, he smells like cinnamon. So he's just like adorable in every possible way and when you hold him, he literally closes his eyes like he's about to fall asleep. Two flies just landed on my camera. I think that means it's time to get out of here and walk around some more. <laughs> okay, so why don't we take a little tour of the animal sanctuary today? We're on our way to see our little chicken friend right now. So we have to go through this area of the farm animal sanctuary. So we we're just like sitting um, back there behind that little house on a bench. And then we made our way over here and we just decided to say hi to the donkeys. They look like they care more about the food than us right now. But they're so cute. I mean, they're so friendly too. Like you can just come up to them and they don't mind because pretty much like all of the animals here are friendly. Unless they're the birds, but the chicken that we know, he's really special. And honestly, we're not even like really supposed to touch the chickens or hold them. Like we're not allowed to. But I actually ended up talking to the owner and she said that I could and Brendan like only us because like I said he was like really sweet and he really liked us and he was protective of us around the other chickens so yeah we just can't do it when anyone else is watching but I'm so glad that we get to hold him at all because like that was really thoughtful of them like I know that they just want to make sure that all the animals are safe and like the main reason you can't do that is because somebody could hold them wrong and they could overheat so yeah they're really you know, going out of their way to let us do that. So we're gonna take advantage of today to see him and hopefully no one else is around so we can hold him. So we have to go through this way. There's a little playground. I can't go through this way. Oh, we usually always go through there. I guess we have to go through this way. Yeah, that's different. And as you can see, there's a little playground over here, so it's perfect for kids to go. Now they have the membership, my brother and sister and everyone can come whenever they want to. It's really a great thing to get the membership because it doesn't matter how many people you go with, as long as you pay $75 and someone in your group has that membership on them, then you can just do whatever you want. 
Here's some more ducks over here. They're so cute. I love the white ones because they just look so pretty. And these ones too. I think they're gorgeous. And like I said last time, they always remind me of dogs. But they don't really like to be pet, like I said. It's only some special chickens. So we're going to go this way, I guess. And look, I don't know the difference between an alpaca and a llama. Those are alpacas, and I think this is a llama. Okay, See then. See how the alpacas are skinny? Yeah. I was going to say, look, there's an alpaca, or look, there's an, a llama, but I didn't want to get attacked for not knowing. <laughs> Hi, little baby. He's enjoying the nice weather as yeah, much as everyone else is right now. Yeah, you can tell the difference between the alpaca and the llama because you can see. Yeah, I just didn't know like which one was which. <laughs> they all have their little friend groups. Like it's so cute. Like everywhere you go, you always see one animal by itself or a group of them, and they're always just like doing their own thing. There's these two little chickens that we see around here, and they're always together, just like these ducks would be. Yeah, like, we always see these these two ducks just sitting right here. Like they're seriously like friend groups. With yeah. An animals too. It'd be surprising how similar animals are to humans. People don't think that, you know? Yeah, but today you guys are gonna see the cutest chicken in the world. Like, I've never had any doubts that chickens have feelings. Obviously, that's why I'm a vegetarian. I care about animals, but I've never just met one so affectionate. Like, I knew they could be like that, but I just never experienced it up close in person. But since I came here, I did, and I couldn't be happier. Like. I never would have known that until these chickens came here that I would be able to be so close with one and it would be so affectionate. Yeah. So they're right behind this little house. It what were you going to say? It basically like validates your love for animals already. You know? Yeah. It shows that they can have love too. There's literally so many of them up here, but the one that we love, he's the one that always comes up to us. So we can pick him out of everyone else right away. So all the chickens are over there. I would say hi to them right now, but they're eating. So I'm gonna give them a minute to enjoy their little food. And then I'll show you the one that I love so much. But in the time being, I decided to come over here with Brendan and say hi to this little pig right here. I didn't know there was a pig here, but that's because there wasn't a pig here. I was just talking to one of the workers and she said that since the last time we were here, which was like last Monday and today is Sunday, a pig came in here and it's a little baby pig and she's really sweet so I can go up and say hi to her so that's what I'm doing right now she's literally so tiny and this place was open before like I didn't know anything new was coming but they really set up for her amazingly I mean they have a little cage for her to go to sleep in or she can go into that little house so that's so cute like baby pigs are just like baby humans they like to be warm and cuddled up and they'll come up and say hi to you I mean she just came right up to us and like she backed away at first cuz I don't think she's ever seen us before like obviously we weren't here but she warmed up pretty fast I haven't even touched her yet cuz I've been telling you guys what's going on but Brendan seems to have made a little friendship with her I wonder exactly how old she is and like if maybe like she came from somewhere else like what her background story is like what happened to her parents but I just know that she's being taken care of here like every single time I come here I have no doubts whatsoever that they're being treated <laughs> they're being treated poorly is what I'm trying to say like this place is so perfect like I just trust them so much and that's why I always come here and give them my money and I'd like to if I have more money start donating here like because there's things that they need like food and grooming products like a lady just came in here when we were paying and she had a bunch of stuff to donate which was so nice like I want to be able to do that for them because just being here makes me so happy so I have to say hi to this pig now and be friends with her. But yeah, like I said, um, about the chickens, yeah, we're really not supposed to touch them. That lady that I was telling you guys about who told me about the pig, she said that we can't touch them. But then I told her about what happened with the owner, and then she was like, oh, because they don't want to get in trouble. They're just doing their job, so I understand. Like, I don't want to do anything that makes anyone not like me. But the owner said it was okay, so I'll just 
do it when no one's looking, like she said. So what does a pig feel like? Like, what's her texture? She's kind of like... She looks roughly. wiry. I thought pigs were soft, but then like when you get close to them, you can see that there's a lot of hair on them. So they're not really, but they're still so cute. Yeah, like, they have really huh? thick hair. Every pig that I've ever met is just so kind and friendly. Like, there's this pig now, obviously, who's just like coming up here. She was down there before, but then she followed Brendan and was just letting him pet her. And before, um, when we saw the pig down there in a vlog that I made with um, Brendan and his dad here, and like the pig just came up to us. And again, last week it came up to us. So yeah, you can never go wrong with a pig as a pet. I feel like they make really good pets if you ever wanted one. But now she's just shaking her booty for the camera. <laughs> Come back here, little piggy. I've never seen a pig so small before, so I know it's not going to last forever. She's probably going to grow to be so big, so we just have to appreciate this cute little innocent baby while she is as small as she is. As you guys know by now, what I really wanted to do um, after seeing the pig was just go over to the chickens and say hi to my little baby, but they were still eating, so yeah, I didn't want to disrupt them. So I decided to walk around a little bit more. I mean, they're over here, and now I'm over here with the little horses. Um, there's this one that's brand new, but I saw it last time. Like, It was brand new as of that week. Um, it was one of the brown ones, and it came from a long way away like it was from another state but somehow it made its way over here I don't know if it was abused or it just didn't have anywhere else to go but it came here and now it has a nice little safe space safe space where they can pretty much roam wherever they want I mean look how big this pen is but the one that I was really looking at was the one in front of me over here because it's so pretty I mean I just love white animals I think that they look so so precious they just stand out to me a lot like there's this white peacock and it's so different from the green one like I think that's so pretty too but wow you really you rarely ever see an animal like that like a white peacock and this horse like it really reminds me of the horse in Pippi Longstocking if any of you are old enough to remember that movie I mean I don't even think it came out when I was a kid like it came out when my mom was a kid but me and her used to watch that and Pippi had a horse and it was just like this one so I love it already just because of all the memories of looking at it brings back hey where did you go just walking around I just went down there and just came back oh yeah cuz Usually we see the horses up in here, but there was a random horse that was just like walking around here and I didn't know if it was supposed to be out there or not, but then we saw a guy who was watching it because like some horses you have to be careful around because they've been abused and they're aggressive, but these ones, they look like they're pretty friendly. They just are doing their own thing right now. There goes Pippi Longstocking's horse with the other ones. Right now we're back at the little baby pig because we've been here for quite a while now and we've tried to get our little chicken's attention but he's been inside of the coop so I think that he was eating and then he just decided to go back in there because he wasn't really in the mood to be social. I don't think any of them were because like none of them were on the ground like they usually are. They were all on the porch or they were inside. But she's putting on quite a bit of entertainment with us, chewing that food. It's so cute to hear animals chew, but I don't like when people chew, especially with their mouth open. She looks like she's enjoying it so much though, like, look at her. She looks so happy. She was actually all the way down there and then we called her over to say hi. <clears throat> but even if we don't get to pet and hold the chicken like we always do, I'll just go over there and show you him at least. I just want to see her finish eating her food because this is adorable. Oh, she just shook a little. Maybe she got a little brain freeze. <laughs> now she's going over there. She has her own little piggy nursery. Oh, look at her. She's trying to get comfy in the shade. 
Oh, she's coming back. Hi, Peggy. <laughs> she's like, yeah. Uh, I'm still gonna have a little bit of this. I just need to shake off my brain freeze. <laughs> yeah, she definitely got a brain freeze there. I saw her shake. <laughs> that reminded me of the time one of my dogs, Jasper, he got um, one of those ice cream treats for dogs when you go to the ice cream store and then they will give you like a little doggy dish. So he had one of those and afterwards like he was shaking so bad like he definitely got a brain freeze. But he... He all did that to himself because he was literally eating the whole thing without even looking up or taking a break. Like, he just dove his whole face into it. So, I'm sure it was some pretty good ice cream. Just like, whatever this is, is pretty good for her. I really can't tell what it is. Like, maybe it's a block of ice, but Brennan also said it could be Himalayan salt. And he knows a bunch of weird things like that, but I don't know what that is, so... I don't know. You guys take a guess. She can't get enough of that, can she? Okay, but why don't I go over and show you the chicken? Yeah, I guess today really isn't their day because I swear to you, usually all of them are always, always out here and they're just walking around and they'll just do their own thing, but now they're away from everybody so there's not really much to look at see they're all up here when usually they'd be walking down here but I guess they're coming to say hi to the vlog but the one that I always love he's usually always out here but today I think he's actually in here on his little perch if I can get him he's not that one he's the one behind him if I can zoom in yep that's him I think he's tired today but he still like walked up to me when I came over here earlier. Like I was right here and then he was like in this area looking at me but he didn't come out at all. So you can say hi to the vlog at least little Coco baby. I love him so much like ever since the day I met him I haven't been able to stop talking about him and how cute he is. He seriously makes me so happy like if I had to choose between having a cat or a dog or him as a pet, I would choose him if I could get another pet. He's just the best little chicken ever. I wish he would have come out so you could see for yourself, but maybe another time. Because it doesn't look like he wants to move from his spot anytime soon. Yeah. Today's really the only day I've ever seen them all act like this. Like, nobody's out here. Yeah, they're usually so much more sociable. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's all I can say. Like, today really isn't their day, I guess. It is a really hot day today, so I don't know. But it's a nice breeze now. You guys, I am literally so, so happy right now. I got what I came here for. I got to see my chicken, and he actually ended up coming out. So we decided to take, like, one more walk around here. And although he was still in the coop when he saw us he actually came up so here he is right now oh my god that donkey scared me because he there. just like came up can you see him over there like this place is just full of like, animals like the donkeys come here whenever they want to he's kind of just staring yeah. at us i think he wants to shout out his youtube channel but yeah we finally got to see the chicken that we love so much he climbed right into brennan's arms and now I hope that it comes into my arms too because I literally love him so much. Like, he's the reason why I would like to come here every day. Hey, donkey. Can you guys see him? That's so funny. He literally was just like standing right in front of us. And then as I was talking to the camera, then he came closer. The donkeys are always in this area. They pretty much go wherever they want to. <laughs> Let me try to show his face a little bit more. I'm so happy right now, like, this is my favorite part of the animal sanctuary, getting to actually interact with the animals I love so much. Look at this one. I think he actually really likes the camera, like, look at him, he's not even moving. He's staring at himself. That's so funny. Right? Yeah. What do you think he's thinking right now? Mm -hmm. He's like, I don't know what this human is doing with because I don't ever see this, but you know what? I'm just gonna come on and say hi to them, anyways. 
<laughs> That's so funny. And I love how all the animals actually like seem to care about each other and are considerate of each other. <laughs> it's like he's in the look at, look, he's about to try to jump back into my arms. <laughs> he like fell out and then he's like trying to get back on. Bless you. He's drawing attention to himself. Hey, um, you should hold him a little bit. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Um, he needs to get comfortable. Um, what I wanted to say was that, like, I love how all the animals are so considerate of each other. Like, there's donkeys around here, and there's cats too, but they don't, like, attack each other or anything. Like, they all know their place, and they don't try to hurt each other. They all get along so nicely. Like, sometimes there's some fights between the actual species themselves, but, like, not between other creatures, so that's really funny. I want to hold him better because he just like kind of plopped him into my arms. Like I love to just hold him close to me. Can you take him for one second? You really have to be careful with him. These are not like any other chickens. They're actually called Bon Tom chickens. And I think that means that they're smaller than your average chicken. But like there's so many variations of them other than Bon Tom. Like there's specific Bon Tom. So I really want to know what he is because I love his color and like just everything about him. Let me take him one more time. I want to make sure he's comfortable. I love to just hold him close and have him close his eyes because... He's so sweet. I think this donkey over here wants a little attention. He's just standing over here. Hey, I know, I was surprised that he was just like that. Like, they always come over here to say hi. Yeah, he doesn't really smell like cinnamon anymore. Maybe it was because of something they put on him. I don't know. But seriously, every time I come here now, like, this is what I want the majority of my vlog to be. Just me holding him and petting him and giving him all the love in the world. Because he just deserves be, it. It used to just be Mia, but now it's, now it's Coco. Yeah, because Mia is a house cat now. I don't know if I mentioned that before or not, but she doesn't really come outside anymore. Because I guess she likes it better, and, but she'll come out once in a while, I guess. I'm so happy it came out. See, I can't give up on him. I knew he had to come out eventually. Is my hair getting in the way? No, it's fine. He keeps shaking. I think that's why. What is the donkey doing? Oh my god, you can't really see me because of him. Did he like when you were petting him? Yeah. That's so funny. Look at all of us, we're one big happy family. <laughs> what was that? He just moved his hoof, that's what they do. That was so loud. There's another white chicken who's really affectionate, like over here you can't really see him. But um, one time Brendan picked him up and he literally pooped in his lap, so that was a day to remember. There's a cat over there too, like speaking of how all the animals get along. Just doing something. I love you so much. Seriously, I can't believe that donkey's still there. <laughs> I don't know, he just... I've never seen it act like that before. Like, I'm pretty sure I've seen that one around, but not like that. What just happened? I don't know, I think he went to go itch himself or something. I want to get out of its way when I have the chicken, but he literally just went behind me and he won't move. I can always tell him apart from the other ones, because like I said, he's, he's affectionate. I don't think I said that, but like I said, he's so cute and everything. And um, he has different features than other chickens. Like, he has the brown and white color, and his tail's really long. And 
since he's a rooster, he has a long um, cone as well. I seriously think this donkey is so weird, but it's amusing me. Okay, I'm gonna put the chicken down for a second because there's more people coming. Don't want to get in trouble. Doesn't even want to get off my lap. Okay, he just did it. But it's so cute when they jump. Like, I never want him to get off my lap, but he just did. And when he did, he did a little plop. Like, it's so funny to watch chickens when they jump off something or hop off something. Like, they literally just go plop. And, like, I think that's the cutest thing in the world. I just love chickens. Want well, to know what I said to Brendan the other day? I said, um, chickens are the angels that fell from heaven, that's why they can't fly. Because they literally are, like, especially this little guy, he's the best. I love him so much, he's just like walking around us. See, here he comes Whenever back we put lap. him down, he always just does this, like, he, right he always <laughs> wants attention, like, I literally got, um, $200 for a graduation present, and I found out that the average chicken, not even the average chicken, the average, like, flock of chickens for, like, 25 is five dollars so I would literally spend my two hundred dollars from graduation on this chicken just to have him as a pet cuz oh the fighting boys are happening my again. life makes he makes my life so happy I'll get to that in a second this chicken makes my life so happy like I would literally pay two hundred dollars for him but I don't even think I can have him even if that was a possibility that they would do that for me because obviously they're not really up for adoption it's a sanctuary not a shelter and also, I have two dogs, like, I have a little chihuahua named Jasper, and he doesn't really care about other animals, like, he has no desire to get attention from them or whatever, but my other dog, my lab Murphy, he would literally attack him because he goes crazy just seeing a squirrel in the yard, so I know that wouldn't happen, but all I can do is just come here and see him all the time, so that's what I do. Such a little baby. He loves affection. You seriously would never think a chicken would like affection. I've always thought, like, I know chickens have feelings, like I said before, like, they all have their own little personalities, but it's rare to see one like this. That's why I love him like, so much. Every time you put him down, he literally just hops right into my lap. He wants me to pick him up. Are you so cute? Yeah. I always hold him really close to me and I just kiss him and cuddle him, but. I want you guys to be able to see, so it might have looked kind of awkward. I'm so happy, like, chickens are so smart. Even if you don't see them for like two years, they have such good facial recognition skills, they still know who you are. And I can't go two years without seeing him, so I have to try to come here all the time. So we have a good relationship. You should try to get footage of him, like, falling asleep. Let me take the camera. Oops. After this, I need to hold him. He's seriously the best. I would have been so sad if I left here without being able to hold him today. I tried to make the best of it, but deep down in my heart, I knew he could just make everything so much better. Look at him when he closes his eyes so sweet. I always have to take a million pictures and videos on my phone too of just my little cuddle sessions. You guys, I seriously love chickens so much. It's not just because of all their different personalities, but their behaviors too. I mean, like, a few of them were just um, digging their beaks into the ground, including Coco, and then all of a sudden they all started doing it. Like, everywhere you go now, that's all they seem to be doing. So I said it looked like they were looking for a buried treasure, and now it's like they're serious about it. They said, they were like, oh, there could really be some buried treasure, and now they're like, oh, damn, I gotta go look for that. <laughs> like, seriously, what are they all doing? Is this some kind of weekly scavenger hunt? <laughs> They all look so invested in just finding out what's under there. There's Coco right there. 
he's the leader, I guess, because he was one of the first ones to do it. And everyone else just joined in. See, only certain chickens like to be touched. There's Coco, and there's another white one. Yeah, another white one. He's brown. But there's one of the white ones who likes it as well. He was like that too. Yeah, he's the one who pooped in Brennan's lap. <laughs> they like trip over themselves sometimes. <laughs> it's so funny. Because their wings are like right next to their legs. Oh, this is a different one. That one over there. Oh, yeah, See, this is how the chickens are supposed to be. They're always out on the floor. Like, before, they're all over there. <laughs> this is seriously so funny. It's like watching a bunch of kids do a little Easter egg hunt. How could you not love these birds? They're so entertaining to just watch and they sound like monkeys. Oh, he's looking at my bag. It's kind of dirty because I've been sitting here for so long, but I don't mind. Seriously, what are you guys looking for? We have about half an hour left before the animal sanctuary closes, so Brendan wants to walk around a little bit more. So sadly, we have to say goodbye to the chickens, including our best friend Coco right here. He's literally standing by us as we're making this video. I seriously love him so much. I was just holding him in my arms, and he was about to fall asleep like he always does. He just loves when I pet, like, behind his neck, and I just love petting him at any time. Look at him over here. He's just the cutest little thing. This is the Coco that I wanted the world to meet. Yeah, all the other chickens are over there, but he's just staying with us. Yeah. He's seriously the sweetest. That's why I always come here. And I was so sad at the beginning because I wanted to spend as much time with him as possible. So I chill, I still tried to do that for like the past hour. But it's time to say goodbye now. So I have to tell him. Bye little baby. I love you so much and I'll come back to see you soon. Bye bud. He's saying bye to you guys. <laughs> So yeah, um, the animal sanctuary closes in a half hour, so we're gonna just do whatever we can in the time that we have left, and walk away from these little babies. This one's following us too, and like last time he was plucking them all away. Look at him! See, last time he was also trying to follow us, and he was like trying to get this one away from him. I'll seriously never be able to forget him. Bye! See, he's trying to make them go away. Oh my god, look! <laughs> All of them are chasing him! Okay, okay, we really need to leave. Uh, they're just so funny. Bye! Bye, chickens! Oh my god! Lynn! Okay, let me end this little clip right here or else I'll never be able to stop. After leaving the chickens, Brendan and I decided to come over to this little area where a bunch of cats are. So I'm with Edwin over here. He's super sweet. We spent a lot of time with him here last time, actually. And for some odd reason, the chickens are rolling around in the dirt in the fire pit so that's something I've never seen before but it's time for us to finally get out of here so I hope that you guys all enjoyed watching this video as much as we enjoyed making it for you guys and we'll see you in the next one bye